Here, here's your new hood ornament. Come here. My hood ornament? Oh, to put on the front of my head? <laughs> looks good, dude. Travis, beware of phone calls and messages for your work. Looks good, dude. I wish that was on going on my wall. Whose is that? My dad's. Oh, it's your dad's? Yeah. Good. That's Travis's handiwork, folks. Not about handiwork, but it is what it is. A little more samplers. Yeah, that was the one he shot. We have a video of that one, that hunt from last year. I'm gonna do a dead mount with uh, cinnamon, a couple blue wings, maybe a shovel laying on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Another adventure is here, folks. And uh, today I got with me, Travis and Taylor. You guys seen him on the last video. I mean, you guys know Travis well, but Taylor was on the last video. So I'm gonna do my best to give you guys the full story of the process that we are gonna about to get <laughs> embark upon. It's a long process, and I think a lot of people outside of California, they might not be interested in it, but uh, some of you may be. And uh, this is a lot of times, this is how we do afternoons in certain places. I'll try to get video of it or help you guys follow along. But what we're gonna do is, it's the day before the hunt day. We're gonna drive up quite a long ways, go up north, and we're gonna put in for what's called lottery. The the hunt where I shot the widget you guys just seen, that was, I just did sweat line. So that's the worst of the worst. Like basically, like you just showed up way late and you're just hoping to get in. This one puts you a little bit ahead of the sweat line, guys, as far as getting the refuge earlier goes, and possibly we could get in in the morning. Highly unlikely on a Saturday, but we'll see. If something is decent, I think it's open, and we all agree on it, we'll, we'll dump in there real quick, but I don't know. But anyways, we got a long drive. We're making a move. We're gonna do what we can do. I mean, make our best effort. That's all you can do, right? I think me and Travis agreed that our, we have our best chance doing what we're doing don't you think yeah and the season's winding down i mean we got Fast. you know we're in january the season's winding down it's uh this last month will go quick so we just try to maximize our opportunities go where we think we have the best chance to get some birds if you guys like this hat you like our merch Travis is wearing the brown one those are pretty much sold out i think there's a 2xl and a couple mediums left That's i couldn't it. find my man i had to look all over <laughs> oh i couldn't i couldn't find my gray one but we got the gray ones too go check it out midvolume.com a link it's always linked down below where it says merch you just click on that and you can see what we all we got a bunch of hats and stuff like that so we always appreciate your guys support you guys have always for the last three years that we've had merch you guys have just bought it up so we really appreciate that and it helps us do hunts and put more content out so stay tuned stay with us we're gonna bring you along on the journey well here again is mr update we got carl's in the bag if it doesn't get all over the place it doesn't belong in your face so we put in for lottery that's been done and we met a couple dudes that were super cool and nice we talked for a while while we're standing in line with justin and tyler thanks for saying hi and being cool and so now we wait and we gotta wait for a while and we'll see uh what we drew or we can just show up in the morning it really doesn't matter so if you guys do lottery you can just show up when it says to show up in the morning or you can find out sometimes through Facebook or stuff like that, you can find out. Well folks, as you can see from this portion of the show, we're in the car and we're headed in the opposite direction that we were <laughs> earlier today. We're actually headed back home. It is now This is This, is, this is the reality. This doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's very disheartening. <laughs> I'll just tell you that right now. So we just got the results probably 15 minutes ago and they were not good. We put in for lottery, which puts you above the sweat line, like I was saying, you're still behind the reservation, guys. But there's a lot of factors that go into this. Normally I would stay, but we almost drew dead last, which is not surprising. Because now we're like 78 groups back almost, something like that. The issue is the weather's horrible tomorrow. No wind, it's cloudy, and it's warmer than normal. That means guys are not gonna be coming out. So that is not conducive for an afternoon hunt. I'll just tell you that right now. Our odds of us getting on is not good. So now we are driving straight back home at 9.35 at night. We 
We've got a three hour drive on the way back home. Probably gonna catch up with you tomorrow sometime. <laughs> I don't know. We got some plans in our mind. Let's just put it this way. Sometimes you gotta work for it, but you know what? Guaranteed in just a month or two, come summertime when you're sweating your rear end off, you're gonna be wishing you could be playing this game right now. Really, I know I will be. So just gotta stay positive, honestly. It is what it is, it's reality. Oh, I just made it back and it is 12.15 at night. Just got to spend six hours driving around with Travis and Taylor. I'm back home. I'm gonna go to bed, sleep till about eight o'clock and I'll see in the morning when we go into the refuge. Deja vu, baby. We are back up, different clan. Next morning, me, Travis, Thomas, <laughs> Going out, gonna make it afternoon hunt happen. It flies, it dies. Hand spoonies, hand buffies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna lower my standards. That one. Travis got the hand shoulder. I've heard that before. Yeah, I've heard that. I will shoot I've heard that several times. And you know what the first bird he shot? <laughs> it comes in, flared up right behind. Oh, Boom! Nice shot, Travis. Hand spoonie. I thought it was a He's drake, all, he, it was dark. He goes, I think that was a drake, I was all trounced. That was a spoonie. <laughs> and in. One of our best hidden spots. Talk about being covered. Anybody that hunts here knows exactly where we're at. I was kind of being sarcastic, obviously, but can you believe it? We actually made it in the pond. It all started yesterday at 3.30 and we just now got a duck pond. Like seven, eight hours of driving, moving places and locations. Anyways, I better get off here. Birds are just dumping in, so. Anyways, I'll let you guys go, so we're out here. Another afternoon hunt and we'll see what we can do. I forgot how bad the stupid cover was. Dead bird. Ah! Over! What? Charles is sleeping on the dog over here. I know, dude. Man. I, I was looking at the shoveler, too. Oh. There was a shoveler headed this way pretty low. Leave. Good boy. Can you ring him? Good shot. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, sit, baby. sit. It's hustling a day for summer. Must be because it's just easy going. Come here! Come here! Are you liking that right now, huh? He always does that the last 20 yards. Come on! He come knows on. not to splash you. Come on! Oh, he tries not to splash yeah. you. Yeah. Here, come here. Hold. Hold. Leave. Good boy. Good boy. That's a big group. Lee. Good boy. There's one. Oh, sit, oh, sit, a sit. That's what a full check. Rock. Yeah. Man, no, he's, I see it now. he's, he's <laughs> a, like a freight train right now. My goodness. I, oh, no. What? He had a beep, one BB hit it in the head, I think. Okay, see this first this little first group? One? This shallow grass? No, look. look at, see yeah. this shallow grass? Yeah. The next one, just around the corner. Okay, not this first clump, no. the second clump. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good hustle, bud. <laughs> Go with him. Come on. There while he's going. Good boy, Rocky. He came over here about 60 yards and he found it faster than I thought he was going to. I couldn't even get the camera out yet. You're too fast, bro. Come on. Good boy.
Rocky ain't jacking around today, boys. You know, the thing is, people think he's slower, and I even think that sometimes. But he's usually, water is to his neck. Here, it's super shallow, and he can just full out sprint. So it's kind of fun to see him, like, turn the wheels on. He can get with it, that's for sure. Good boy. Good boy. Here. I thought that thing was dead, and then he just all of a sudden lifted up. Hold. Leave. Good boy. Sit. Thank you. Sit. Rocky! I felt so bad for me. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Leave. You know what? I bet you he ain't gonna flare him no more than we would if he sits on that. Rocky! Did I get that or someone else got that? Okay. Thomas is at four and sorry about that. It's a terrible, terrible shot. I'll give you a shot for. Wasting one of yours. Yeah. Here, man. Yeah. Fetch up, Rocky. Fetch up. Dipper. Oh, hey. Found him. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, man. Sneaking it. They, they must have flushed him out the back. Fetch up. Sorry about that, man. Leave. Well, that took a little bit of work. But we got him. The guy that was on the other side of the pond helped us out. His dog was looking too. He actually shot. Kind of like sailed over to him. Sailed all the way over to him. He put one on it. Still was pretty alive. Anyways, I gave him one of my shells for having to waste one of his. That was a terrible, actually we don't even know though, I didn't know but Tom shot the same time. So I don't know really who was, but either way it was a horrible shot. I'm sure you pay the price when you make a bad shot. <laughs> It. Rocky! I got this one, right? Did you shoot at this one? Yeah. Oh, you did? What did you, did you think you got it? <laughs> or did you or no? I don't know. Did we do the same thing again? <laughs> I never heard you shoot. I love how California till goes straight up. They don't do that in the hold. 
Dead bird. Dead bird. Get back. No. Wrong way. No. No. Over. Travis, you got one. <laughs> He's not laughing. <laughs> Sit. Dead bird. Back. It's <laughs> split. Yeah. Uh huh. Good boy. Good boy. Dude, that was impossible to shoot that. that thing was doing something. Dude, there was no way I was going to hit that. I don't even know why I shot. I got one shell. Travis, help, help me out. Oh, never mind. Dead bird. Back. I'm done. That's the limit. Are you shot? Yeah. Yeah, he shot that. You kidding me? No. I don't care, dude. I don't care, dude. I literally don't. You already did that twice. You can have this one. Sit, sit, Rocky. Rocky! That was a perfect flush for me. Leave. Good boy. Good boy. Hey, Biggins. Oh, Drake. Charles. I didn't think you'd get him. <laughs> boy, Rocky. Putting some hustle on today. Putting the clinic. Leave. What do you have to say for yourself? It was a little tall. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you've never seen tall until you come with us at this refuge. <laughs> That's when you'll know what tall means. It's not quite our cup of tea, this, but it's the only the only drink that's served. It's nice, though, because this shallow water Rocky is cooking. On these retrieves, I love it. I love watching him hustle that fast. Good boy. Huh. Putting on a clinic today, son? You showing some of these, showing these people that you can still hustle when the water's shallow enough? That motion ducks is working right now, boys. Check it out. Right there. See that? See that right there? Stagnant, calm day. Put those rip, big old ripples in the water. Well, there's my limit, boys. Five green wings, Buffy, and a shoveler. Me and Thomas keep thinking we get the same bird like three different times, so he let me have the first two. And that last one, I just he just took it because we shooting at the exact same time. Anyways, I'm done. I'm limited. Nice sit, Rocky. Sit. Sit. Rocky! Boy, come here. You can take it from the traps if you want. What are you doing? You broke my seat. You broke my seat. You were on. That is my seat, though. Sorry, right. I'm just joking. It's been coming out 
Oh, did you get enema? That's beard. <laughs> Crack open something. Crack open the deal. Is that what we were using today? Three inch four shot. I actually got my lemon. I haven't, I, I don't even remember the last time I got my duck lemon, honestly. No, if it flight, it died, honestly, today. Thanks for following along on this journey. This was a long haul. You've seen what it went through to get to this point, but it is cool that we were successful and got some birds because we pulled out of where we were at because it was not going to happen, trust me. I don't think we were even going to get in the refuge. It was pretty cool that we made that big of a move and, move and still got successful because I've made big moves like that and not even shot a bird, so. You got three? Yeah. So we ended up with 15 then. I got five. Okay. I got three shovels and two two. Put the, ended up putting the motion deck. We moved the decoys like four times, but we put the motion decks right there, and that started helping a lot. And could put these off to the side with some pulsators. But the teal were just crossing here. It was all passing the shots, but did good today. Nice shallow water for you to hustle in. God, my dirt, dirt don't hurt. That's what I'm talking about. Cheers, boys. Here's to you guys. Here's to you, Mr. Mountain Dew drinking man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you. What is that? You don't just sip yeah. Mountain Dew. You <laughs> guzzle it. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.